What's up everybody? My name's Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and welcome back to Minecraft. As you can see, I'm still hiding out in this little cubby hole here. I'm kind of hoping I can convince the skeleton to try and shoot me through the creeper, because if a skeleton kills a creeper, he drops a record. Yeah, just like that. Awesome. I've never actually gotten a record before. At all. Ever. In the history of me playing this game, I've never picked up a record. So I'm quite excited about that. We'll go see how it actually works out here. and Hopefully there's not a whole lot of things sitting, you know, right around the corner waiting to shoot me in the head. Okay, I'm going to scoot back here. I'm going to check this out real quick. Because like I said, I never got one. Check that out. Music disc. Awesome. Now I'm going to have to make a record player, which I've never made before because, well, let's be honest, I never actually needed one. It's too bad I can't pick up all these arrows. That'd be kind of sweet too. So what's up? What's going on with everybody? I am back to normal, basically, as far as life goes. Um, you know, back from Vegas, as I was, you know, telling everybody before I left, I was going to Vegas, and I had a really fun time. I had so much fun. And if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about it. Which, at this point, if you do mind, it's kind of too late anyway, because I'm going to tell you as I'm playing here. Alright, so... Here's basically how my trip went. First day we got there, which luckily we didn't run into a single issue with travel. You know, normally there's flight delays or just all kinds of crap. There's not one thing of problems anywhere. We had, you know, our flights were on time. We didn't have any travel. Oh, okay. Sorry. As you can see, it kind of started. Go away. Go away. Go away. No, don't blow up. Okay. Whew. Sorry. No travel delays. No issues getting around. None of that stuff. I'm going to run down here. Try and get safe real quick. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, this looks a little bit safer than that way does. Let me get some torches up so you can see. Okay, put one there. Put one back here just so I can see what's going on. Right there. Yeah, that lights it up nice and pretty light. Okay, try not to get distracted here as long as something doesn't jump out at me again because that kind of startled me. So first night we get there, we head, we get all checked in, to eat dinner, all that crap, and we head down to Fremont Street, and we're just kind of walking around the various hotels, and or not hotels, casinos, and, you know, it's kind of the smaller area of Vegas, I guess, and, you know, we go into a casino there, and we're having some drinks, and sit down at the table, and this dealer is this really young, hot chick there, I mean, she's got these, this perfect set of round, gorgeous teeth just staring right at you the whole time. It, it made it a little bit difficult to concentrate. I'll, I'll put it that way. She, she took some of my money, but it was okay. She had a really pretty smile. <laughs> and uh, anyway, after that we just kind of wandered around and um, you know, lost some money to some people who didn't have as pretty a teeth as she did, but still it was fun. Had a good time with it. And then so then the next day, we uh, we head over to the gun store, which I don't know if you know what that is or not, but basically it's an indoor shooting range where you can go shoot machine guns and stuff. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you may have saw the pictures I posted up there, but uh, me and my brother both got to shoot a, an M4 assault rifle, an M9 um, pistol, and a saw, which is a, pretty much a, a big machine gun, basically. It was pretty cool. We got three different targets, and we got to go in there and... Um, you know, fire off a full clip on, or two full clips on both the normal guns, and then 40 rounds on the saw. What is this? It's kind of a weird color. Is it a different color, or is it just the shade? Just the shade. Okay, take that back. Low on torches. So anyway, that was really, really cool. Man, um, I, I love shooting guns. That I don't get to do it all that often, obviously, because I don't, all I have is just, you know, a few select guns here in my house, but I don't get to go ever shoot them anywhere, because... Well, it cost quite a bit, and plus the cost of ammo and all that other stuff. So it was really cool to get to go in there. A little bit of a wait, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, it actually, I was pretty accurate. I'm a, you know, I've uh, shot quite a bit in my life, and I can say that I'm a pretty accurate shot. Uh, you know, had a lot of fun with it. And what in the holy cow was that? Was there something to? Oh, there's a big open space above me. I don't know what it was, but. Okay. Anyway, so I might have to, um, I'm planning on it if I can, when I remember, I'm going to take some pictures of the, uh, the targets I shot at, and so you guys can see, you know, how accurate I actually was with them. I was quite proud of how well I did. That's a big spider web down there. Check that out. I don't know if you can see down there, but there's a lot. So anyway, that was a lot of fun, and then Friday night we went and saw David Copperfield, the magician. Um, I'd seen him once before 
I grew up a big fan of Magic, and you know I've been watching David Copperfield since I was a little kid, and so seeing him in person was just it was awesome. You know I, I looked up to him as a as a kid. You know I studied Magic, quote unquote, learned how to do some little tricks here and there, and you know I still do those same kind of tricks on Brett here and there. You know little slide of hands, make the coin disappear, that kind of stuff. You know nothing grand. I'm not making the car out front disappear or anything. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. You know, we got to go see him, and uh, you know, of course, in between all this crap, we'd stop and do a little bit of gambling. And oh, okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, spam the trick or spam the button, spam the button. Yeah, drop some arrows. Did you bring any friends? Nope. Okay. Oh, uh, took a little bit of damage there. Go ahead and bust a nom real quick and call it good. Okay. Head back over here real quick. Eh. So anyway, gotta go see David Copperfield, and uh, it's a really, really good show. If you've never seen him and he ever comes through your area, go see him. Uh, if you like magic, that is. Um, you know, I recommend Lance Burton as well. He's a pretty damn good magician. And anyway, we just had a good time, and uh, let's see. Saturday, we went to the spa, as I mentioned in the last video. And basically what we got to do was, me and my brother got to go rock climbing. Um, it's a 40-foot wall. There's four different levels of difficulty there. I started off on the second level of difficulty, since I'd never done it before. And I, I zoomed right on up the wall. It's really not that hard at all. So then I did the first level and the third level. I was just didn't have the strength to do the fourth level, so I didn't even try it. But man, that was so much fun. If you've never got to climb a rock wall before, I mean, yeah, it's not the same as doing you know real life rock climbing and stuff like you would do out in the Arizona desert or something. But it was still a hell of a lot of fun, and I really, really enjoyed myself with it. Um, I have some pictures of it and some video and stuff too, and. Who knows, I might make a Vegas vlog or something like that. I don't know if anybody would want to see that or not, but it was pretty fun. And then we got to do the actual spa side of it, meaning we got to go into the, you know, the pampering section, basically. They had a, you know, giant Whirlpool hot tub, and they had these things called heated chairs where they're, like, perfectly contoured to the normal person's body, and they're heated. So you lay in them, they're just incredibly warm, relaxing, you know, fall asleep in them kind of stuff. So that was a lot of fun. Well, hello, Creeper. Where's my sword? Yeah, you just keep on trying to find a way up here. I'm going to stab you in the head. Don't blow up. We don't need any of that. Go away. Yaw! Look at you all nice and dead. But anyway, but what was really cool is while we're standing at the uh, checkout counter, waiting to, you know, check in, basically, and get all our information about where to go and who to talk to and stuff like that, um, none other than Mr. Shaq himself came walking up to the desk we are and stood right next to me. And, uh, it was like, you know, we're like, holy cow, hey Shaq. And he's like, hey guys, you know, in his super deep voice and super friendly guy just kind of gave us a big smile and a grin or whatever. Didn't want to bug him because, well, you know, I've heard so many celebrities before say, you know, it's like, hey, you know, I love my fans and stuff, but man, it, if I go to a resort or something to relax, I don't want to be bugged the whole time I'm there with, please give me an autograph and please can I take a picture and, so I just left him alone in that aspect of it. But what was kind of funny is while he was standing there talking to us, um, my mom, who we actually went with us to, she was wearing this nice little sundress and stuff, and she was like, well, hi, Shaq. And he turned around and goes, well, hey, good looking. I was like, awesome, Shaq's flirting with my mom. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I guess. That's something to tell the people back home, and you know, that Shaq thinks my mom's pretty. So I guess that's worthy of sharing. I didn't mean to put that block there. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead and take that, too. Let's see. And then after this, you know, we got to go do the... The, the hell is that called? The massage, which I just had a Swedish massage. So I had this, you know, woman was just basically giving me a oily rub down. But, oh, it was relaxing. My back's been bothering me for a while and stuff. So it was nice and relaxing. Just more iron down there. And then, uh, let's see, what do we do after that? Um, oh, we went and saw a, uh, that same night, we went and saw a, one of the new Cirque du Soleil shows. It's called O. Oh. They do the entire show in and around water. That was the most amazing show I've ever seen, I think. Just the complexity of the stage and everything they had going on with it and how they were, you know, they'd raise and lower the, the, uh, volume of water, I guess you could call it, but they'd raise and lower the, um, well, I'm trying to say the depth of the water like very quickly. I don't know what kind of super duper pool system they had there, but they could make it deep enough for them to do super high dives off of like the top of the rafters in the Coliseum and then within five seconds have the platform 
walking level basically so they could run over the surface of the water and then it go back and forth and various sections of it and it was just really awesome and of course it, if you've ever seen one of their shows you know they're just like overly epic and dramatic and it, it was just a lot of fun it was one of those holy cow wow I can't believe this sort of thing and like I said in the meantime we'd stop and do some gambling here and you know, I'm a big fan of playing craps. That's my that's my game. That's where I usually win or lose most of my money if I'm going to get to gamble. Roulette's the second favorite. I don't like playing the cards game just because they're they're so quick and they cost so much to play, even on the cheap tables. Cause you think about it this way, it's like ten dollars a hand just to get your cards. Well, that's great. Ten dollars. Okay, so you're like, eh, that's a little bit steep, but I can manage that. All right, that's just to get your cards. If you want to play, if you want to get, you know, redraw and stuff, it's ten more dollars. So you're looking at twenty-one dollars, or twenty dollars already. Then on some of them, like three-card poker, they have something that they call super ante, basically. So it like it increases the amount you win percentage-wise. You know, if you actually do win, it increases how much you get paid for it. But the only way you can do that is to pay the super ante. Well, the super ante is an extra dollar, so. Right there on one hand, you're looking at $21 already spent, and that's assuming you win anything. You know, if you lose, well, you don't get your $21 back. It's another $21 to play again, and all that happens in the course of about 10 seconds. Yes, I know there's some iron there. I'm not going to get it. Ha ha. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's basically the, the um, duration of my trip, really. I mean... I said there was a little bit here and there, and you know we ate some nice restaurants. I got to try a Kobe beef steak for a change. I've never had one of those before, but yeah, as a huge, huge fan of steak, I can say Kobe beef is pretty damn good. If you ever have a chance to get it, it's extremely expensive, but it's very much worth it. So there's not much going on this episode. I'm kind of just wandering around this mine shaft, collecting stuff, you know, trying to hit up places I didn't go the time before, just to see what I can see. But as you can see, I'm kind of roaming in circles now. I don't even know where this goes, but we're going to go up here and see. I think it's a dead end, or no, I think it circles back around to where I was just at. Whoa, let's just dive off into the hole, shall we? Yeah, I think this just circles back around to where I was at. Ta-da! So anyway, um, you know, what do you guys want to see me do next with this episode? You know, I'm doing the wander around the Minecraft thing, and do you want me to continue in the next episode to continue explore this? Do you want me to take some of my bountiful resources, like all this iron and rails and stuff and crap, and go back home? You know, what would you like to see me do next? Because, you know, I, I I love playing the game, and I love communicating with you guys. You know, I've said it so many times before that, you know, I have more fun when I'm collaborating with you guys and you know you guys give me ideas of stuff you want to see boom thank you sir and so you know if I have an opportunity to whoa hello freaking cave spiders son of a biscuit how dare you there's a spawn down there Ugh, that's not cool that's not cool at all that's where the spawn is though I can sit here and just go to town. Wait, let me still have a dirt. Yeah, let's do this real quick. I don't need bones. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Okay, that way I know where that little spawn is. I cannot believe that spider just poisoned me. How dare you? <laughs> As you can see, my meat meat meter is running a little bit low. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this episode because I want to be able to upload it. It's been a little while since I got to upload a video since basically right before I left. I put up that, you know, Brett's World video, but I'd already had that recorded. And, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying that so much. And it, it's just fun, you know. He's a goofy kid. We sit down, we just hit record, and we just play. He does more. He thoroughly enjoys just destroying stuff. And you'll see in a later episode that I'll upload and stuff. He's discovered TNT and how much fun it is to turn an island into a hole. <laughs> And uh, to surround enemies and blow them to pieces. He finds that very funny. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to end the video. But I do want you guys feedback. You know, Just let me know what you want to see me do next in the video. And the series, where you want to see go with it. Um, you know, I try and check in with you guys as much as I can. Finally getting some good resources. And I have quite a few at home too. So, you know, let's come down to just actually doing it. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, me kind of rambling about my vacation and whatever, so uh, 
you know, you know leave a comment let me know what you think if you liked the video you know appreciate a good thumbs up on it and uh, hopefully you hear from a lot of you guys y'all have a good one and I will talk to you later